us about the one more master data and it is the last master data that is quota arrangement quota arrangement, arrangement. what is quota arrangement quota means what percentage sir quota means percentage okay percentage okay percentage for example uh, you are procuring one material mat material one from different vendors okay vendor one vendor two vendor this for example this is the material you are procuring from vendor a vendor b and vendor C. Three different vendors you are running your business. Okay, sir. Okay. So each assume that all these are parallelly running business with these three vendors parallelly. Okay, okay. So every day, you are, every day or month, every month or two months once you are purchasing some material from these vendors. Okay. In that case, Assume you have planned to purchase one lakh of material. Mm -hmm. For this year, you are planning to procure one lakh of quantity of material one. Got my point. So okay, out sir. of one lakh, you have to divide with these three vendors, right? Okay. So okay. you will prefer he is a good vendor. So you will get 60%. 60% quota okay. you are giving okay, for sir. this vendor EA. Okay. So 30% or 20% you are giving for vendor B. And remaining 20% you are vendor giving C. preference for vendor C. So this is quota. Quota okay, means sir. what? Percentage. Splitting Percentage. of quantity. Okay, sir. Okay. Splitting of quantity. quantity. Okay, for example, 1 lakh, 60% you are giving. So 1 lakh of 60% is how much? 60,000. 60, 60, 60, yes. So 60,000 materials will procure from this vendor. Okay. So whenever you are creating one more purchase order above 60,000, for example, one more, if only one quantity of material is added, system will throw an error. Means 60% mm -hmm. quota is reached. Okay. So we cannot buy purchase, I mean, any materials from this vendor. Okay, okay. So twenty percent is like this. Twenty percent for vendor C, similarly. Or else, if you have only two vendors in your okay. organization, then fifty percent, fifty percent. Okay, okay, sir. Depends upon vendor C. If you, are, for example, uh, three vendors are there, but you are going to do equally, you are not mm -hmm. uh, differentiating any vendor. So thirty-three percent, thirty-three percent, thirty-three percent. So almost okay. equal to ninety-nine percent. Ninety-nine, yes, sir. Understood. So okay, this is how sir. you are dividing the quantities with the three different vendors. Vendors. Got my point? That is called quota yes, arrangement. arrangement. You are arranging the quota okay, with sir. Okay. vendors. Okay, sir. Okay, this is okay, called sir. quota arrangement. So what are the prerequisites required for this that we need to understand first? First, what do you require? You require one material. Right or not? Mm -hmm. One you require yes, material. And vendor. Yeah. How many vendors you require here? Because three you are vendors. considering that you have three vendors. Minimum two. Maximum anything. Okay. Minimum two. Okay. Because you have to divide the quantities. You are splitting. Okay. Just I will use the word split of quantity. Okay. So you, when you are using the word split means obviously you should have minimum two. Or more than Minimum two okay. is required. Yes, minimum two is required to split. Yes, yes, yes. And the third required is purchase info record is mandatory. Is mandatory. You must create a purchase info record for this material and this vendor, this vendor, this vendor. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, how many purchase re info records will be created with this example? You tell me. Three, sir. Now, Three, yes, because purchase info record is a combination of material, vendor, vendor and price. Plant, plant sir, sir plant. plant is a data, 
but price is important there yeah. for everybody, whatever mm activities are there with respect to plant with respect to purchase organization so it is default okay 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 sir okay so plant, material is there vendor is there and price is also there assume price that is one purchase rate for record this material okay. second vendor second price okay okay yes right so purchase info record is mandatory for okay. all the vendors not only for okay. one vendor for all the vendors it is important next mm -hmm. one more important here is you must activate quota and source list okay source list is required source list is required because with the help of source list only the system will automatically fetch which material is available with which oh, even source list is the mandatory in quota arrangement yes mandatory because so what is source list so it is a combination of material and so actually purchase info record Vendor, and right? source list almost it is uh, same path right sir is available with this material yes yes almost same path Okay. and the last one is in material master in material master purchasing view purchasing view quota arrangement tab will be there i mean quota arrangement field is there that should be active okay sir okay quota okay. arrangement and source list both source fit field and quota arrangement field should be active this field okay. that is also one important you remember these are the prerequisites okay sir active active means it should be checked the box should be check box check agar okay okay material with this source and uh, Quota arrangement field, source list, purchase info record, minimum two vendors. Okay. Because you are splitting, right? So I will consider okay. only two vendors here. Okay. So I will take the material one from our previous classes. This is the material I have created. So I will use the same material. I have taken the material. Now I need to check in the quota arrangement, purchasing view, quota arrangement is active or not. And source field is active or not. That is the one okay. point. Second point, we need minimum two vendors, right? So in the previous classes, we have created two vendors as also. So two vendors I will take. Okay, sir. Understood. So these two are the vendors. These are the vendor one. I will consider. This is vendor two. And this is material one. Okay. Okay. And uh, what are the requirements? First one is over. Second one. Now purchase info record is mandatory. Okay. Already I have created a purchase info record, right? In the previous yes. class, I shown you how to create a purchase info record. Okay. Okay. Ah, understand, sir. So if you want, I can create here also. No problem. Purchase info record because already if I show, the system will say that purchase info record is available because already I created. Um, purchase if record with material and vendor combination okay so already it is available in the system right in my okay, user okay. it is available so these are the two purchase info records that have been created already okay these are the two purchase info records purchase info record one purchase info record two two okay so this purchase info record first one is related to first vendor combination Second purchase info is recorded to second vendor. Okay. 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 Okay, sir. So to create purchase info record, material is important, right? Material and vendor and price. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the one. These are the one things. I will highlight these two as well. Next, what is required? Material is over. Source list is required. So in the previous okay. class, we have created a source list, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have created, we have considered, see, material vendor and this vendor, we have created a source list. Oh, yes. We have maintained already. Do you remember in oh. the previous class, 
we have consider one material mat1 this is the material we have can taken and this vendor already i have created a one source list but i will show it here also okay okay, now, okay. we'll we'll start from fourth point because okay, the three is already we have covered in the previous class how yes, to sir. create purchase info record how to create a uh, vendor and material and all so i now i need to check whether quota arrangement and source field is active or not for this material okay, okay. so how to check the purchasing view of a material what is the t code in the sap system sir mk vz sir no no you are very famous with mk vz anything if i ask you will be telling mk vz only sir so, so that is list of vendors yeah, yeah, yeah. no 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 i need to check material master views which we will use the basic which we will use oh to... the purchasing purchasing view sir purchasing view which t code what is the t code to create a material and view sir mm01 mm01 is for creating to view the material i'm oh, a bit confusing with this me01 and mm01 sir so until unless you practice so always you'll be in bit i think me01 me01 sir me01 is for see here me01 is used for what me01 is for what that is for source list source list i am asking you how to what is the t code to display the material display Once again, once again, sir. How many materials go. you have created till today? Sorry, sir. How many materials you have created? The materials, maybe one or two, sir. Oh, okay. What is the T code to create a material? Material. Once mm again, zero one. Mm zero one is for creating material. <laughs> mm zero two is for change. Mm zero three is for display. Okay, okay, sir. Still, I'm not strong with this uh, T codes. Yes, yeah. Okay, no problem, no problem. It will happen. It will take bit of time. So this is the material. I am going to select here. See here, display material. Just I am giving the material number. Material and number. Enter. So I need only the purchasing view as of now. Select the purchasing view, and click OK. For this plant, ZA thirty one. i am going to view the purchasing view see here zia31 is a plant this is the material this is the purchasing view purchasing so if you okay. go at the bottom of the screen we have to click source list source list already it is active okay what i told there are two source field should be active and quota arrangement should be active active okay okay this should be active this okay quota arrangement okay quota no, arrangement sir. where is the quota arrangement in that particular sphere quota arrangement uses okay so now i am in display mode so i cannot okay. edit it so i need to come to the edit mode so material if it is in display mode you cannot come so go to slash n mm 02 02 okay, okay. okay. change let us change it yes just enter the material number which you want to change then press enter I am not going to change the data in all the selected views. Only, Only I need purchasing. So select it to save the time. So enter the plant because the purchasing view is different for different plants. Okay. Okay. Z A thirty one. So come at the bottom. Quota arrangement uses. Just to explore it or press the four button or click the icon. See here. So there are. One, two, A, F, H, R, Y. So these are some options they have created. So mm -hmm. only the standard is one, two, three, four, five, six. It will be there. Depends upon the organization. Okay. And see here in the organization structure here. If any you select any quota, Q is this one quota, quota one, quota two like that. It should be tick with all the boxes. That one you select when you are practicing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, all the see. For example, A, F, all these are all customized. Some some people they have practiced. Okay. So they have, they created one one more line, but already okay. it is available here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All the check box are tick box. Check it. So it is selected. Okay. 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 Now you can ask a question: Why you are not selecting Y as an option? Why you are going for all uh, the fields which are 
selected. Very, I mean, very few fields are not selected, sir. I will tell you. I will tell you here. See, this is for PO. So mm -hmm. purchase order. Whenever this quota arrangement you are using for creation of purchase order, that should reflect. For example, okay. if I untake it, assume I have not selected here. Assume this box is not selected. Then okay. when you are creating a purchase order, this okay. quota arrangement concept uh -huh. will not trigger. Okay, okay. Okay. So means it, it won't reflect. Uh, it won't reflect and it will not give the significance. Means it will not divide the quantities based on the quota. It mm -hmm. will not consider for creation PO. So okay. all it should be selected. Then only this it will help you for dividing the quota and div dividing the quantities <laughs> with the different vendors. Right, okay. Sir, so right, time sir. being you select all. Anyone. For example, you can select two also. You can take A also, F okay. also you can take, and R also you can take because all the boxes are ticked. Okay. Right. Now, source and uh, quota arrangement is there, then save. So, material is changed. So, I will 384, right? See, this material is changed. So, source list is required, which is over. This also okay. we have covered. Now we'll create a source list. We'll check whether source list is maintained for this material and these vendors are not for these vendors. Okay, what is the T code to create a source list? ME ME01. So go to SAP system. Check whether source list is created with respect to that material or not. ME01. ME01 is for creation of source list and as well as for change. Change, yes, sir. Yeah. See, I am giving this vendor. And what is the plant we have considered? 31. 31. Very good. Enter it. See here. I have not maintained any source list Anything. for this material. Okay, okay, sir. In the previous class, we have taken an example of MAT1. Okay, okay. MAT1, we have created with this vendor. Okay, list. sir. Okay. okay. But, but I have not considered this material. Okay, okay, sir. Right. What's my point? So, system is not showing any data here. So, I will maintain valid from 07 04 2023 to assume that 07 05 2030. Up to 30, I am going to give some validity of this material. Enter. Please That's enter right. vendor supplying plant or outlaw. So, I need to give the vendor, right? Uh -huh. So when there is one double zero fifty. Yes, exactly. I will give that vendor. And I will enter. See, purchase organization is also asking. System is asking somewhere. Enter purchase organization. ZA fifty one. Very good. We will enter ZA fifty one. Again, plant it less. Organization ZA fifty one not defined. See, someone has changed this. ZA one fifty one has deleted. So we need to check in the organization structure. So because it is a practice server, right? Some more people will be practicing, they will be deleting each and everything. So where will we get the purchase organization in the enterprise structure? Materials management. Definition. Oh, materials management. Huh? No, no, no. Once yeah, once you are defining. Where is the materials management? That is storage location you will get. And here, maintain purchase organization also there. We'll check. Oh. Check so plant is also we have designed location is also we have defined material okay. management maintain purchasing organization. What is the our purchase organization? ZD51. Exactly correct. Here the day 51 is not there. So we go to new entries. Huh? Yes, exactly. New entries ZA51. And I'll give us a some description of it. So ZA51. PIR. PIR. Not PIR, purchase ORG. Uh -huh, okay, purchase okay, organization. Sir. For plant, for which plant you are creating for this? 31. GA31. GA31. Just for our understanding. Okay. 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 So it will be easy to, uh, if you read the description, oh, this is the purchase organization for this plant. 
so do, do not give any general name so, uh, do specific so that you, you can understand later okay okay sir so what is this number system TR number sir. very good tr number transport request okay sir so now i will assign this purchase organization to plant right you have created in that you are created in the definition yes sir now we need to assign right yes sir, yes assign purchase organization to plant and company code as well first check in plant purchase organization sometimes assignment will be there but they will delete only the uh, definition role ga31 enter both and check here it is there Alvin plant yes sir yes it is there so sometimes no, but, but, oh okay okay system will give an error even though if you have assigned system will give an error because just now we have defined right we have created yes. a new so uh -huh. try to delete it delete save it will ask a tr save it again you assign sir why after deleting also it is it is given tr code sir yeah yeah for because deleting means you are changed something right okay okay uh -huh. okay so when when i create or change or delete or whatever so it do, is mandatory when i delete i should save it and I yeah, should should save. if you not save then so what is the uh, how the system will allow that you have deleted okay 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 sir. Yeah, right this mistake i did yesterday i think sir ah might you might have done this mistake so you might have done this mistake so save see now i have done everything is correct but if i have not said system will not take this combination this arrangement this assignment Okay, okay. If, if you come back system will not save this it is showing that uh, data is available but if you have to save right save, okay okay yeah so. data was saved you should get this message data mm. was saved. okay okay sir. okay so come back check whether uh, assigned purchase organization is there or not so our plant is a 31 purchase organization is GA51. It is there. Save. No problem. It is there now. So I'll send purchase organization to plant and company code also I will check because in future it should not give any error. So right now it will not give any error, but in future it may be a problem for me. See here, company code I have not assigned. So maybe some uh, has removed. Oh, that 21. 21. Yes, give enter. Same. See, a TR number is not changing. Okay. All the changes it has saved in you know, only one TR. Okay. Okay. Now I will go to the SAP screen. Go to the quota arrangement and try to enter. See here now system has taken GA51 and this plant combination. Okay. okay. There is a relation between GA31 plant and purchase organization system has not given any error here. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Right, sir. So one more I need to maintain, right? One more data, one more vendor I have, right? Because I need to split the quantity with respect to two vendors. Two vendors, yes, exactly. Yeah. So, so I will create one more vendor here. What is the one more vendor we have created in our system? One double zero three six. Three six nine. Yeah. So where is that page? This is the page one double zero three six nine. And this is also for our same purchase organization. There. Okay, sir. Okay. So now I cannot block any vendors here because okay. I need both. Same yes, sir. Early yes, I am running the business. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. If you want to block any particular vendor, if you block it, then there is no question of splitting the quantity, right? Because anyway, you have blocked it. So obviously, for, there will be only one option. This will select automatically. Okay, okay. It should not happen. Quota arrangement means I am dividing the quantity with two vendors and I am running the parallelly. I am procuring materials with those vendors within parallel. Means January I am uh, ordering for 350 vendor and in the March I am ordering for 369 like that. And okay. keep in mind the source list and quota arrangement always it will be on year and yearly. Once for once in a year, they will do they will create the source list and they will mm -hmm. maintain the quota arrangement. They will not change frequently for every one month or two months or three months. 
because so once in a year or twice in a year they do yes yes once in a year only not in it because there is must be a long back relationship right uh, if, if you are procuring material for this month and and you are ending a relations with vendor in that next month then it is like a good habit and as well as there is not be good relationship between vendor and plant oh okay. yeah so, uh-huh. so like until unless if he supplied some uh, bad quality uh, materials and then he uh, may change right sir he may change yes okay, okay for example after too many warnings or couple of warnings the vendor has not delivered a quality goods to your premises your plant then obviously you should stop procuring this materials sir okay now the material is fine you say that if uh, payments are not done then you, uh, no no there will be an agreement right you have to make the payments then only you can stop the business with them otherwise he may how will agree otherwise okay, okay. whatever the agreement is there if you supply good quality sir, actually, in the this payment. scenario what and all the problems will come sir payment material uh, quality and then so whatever i mean uh, it should uh, meet your requirements what is your requirements no, no. quality for blocking a vendor uh, what are the possible reasons sir in the interview if they possible ask possible reasons may be some quality goods and as okay. well as uh, within the specified time the vendor has not delivered the goods even payment also we can add right sir payment also yeah price is too high so uh, some you have found some other vendor who is purchasing the same quality okay. and uh, the same delivery time and he is taking some his price for example vendor one is charging 10 dollar and he is charging for 5 dollar so obviously will choose for 5 dollar okay right? okay uh-huh. okay so you, are, you want to you, you need a one washing machine you visited the flip kart and you found bosch who has a washing machine of price 30000 same okay. specification same washing machine in the amazon it is available for 26000 so uh-huh. which uh, which vendor will you choose obviously you go for amazon right yes sir exactly. because you can sell 4000 rupees for one yeah. machine yeah so in that case so okay. depends and for example uh, flipkart is uh, charging 30000 and mm-hmm. he is delivering in 5 days assume okay but amazon is uh, d- giving the product in 26000 but he is taking one month which one will oh. you select i will take first that one that only because it depends on the business right so business uh-huh. need uh, uh-huh. the materials very urgently so they need to manufacture the products yes sir yes sir okay he is supplying good quality and he is taking too much of time to deliver the materials so mm-hmm. it is not required right Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understand. Okay. Yes. So source list is changed. Now we'll go to the Excel sheet and we'll check what are the prerequisites, sir. So material we have created, then two vendors also we have created. Purchase is mandatory. Source list also created, and in the material master purchasing view we have done these two changes as well. Now okay. our job is quota arrangement. How to create a quota arrangement? So, what is the T code to create a quota arrangement? Here is to create a quota arrangement. The T code is M E Q one. M E two one. Q Q. Q O Q one. Q for quality. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sir. So Q for here quota. Just assume that Q for quota. Quota. Quota one. Okay. okay sir. And there is no uh, second T code to change the quota. Same. whatever you are using for create you can hmm. use it for change as well the same like the source list yes exactly okay, okay exactly sir. to display meq3 display Similarly, so when you are uh, teaching when you are explaining it is understanding keeping i keep in memory but after uh, i'll i leave it off then i forget it lack of practice it is a lack of practice okay it will happen no problem you can come okay. back so meq3 is a display of quota arrangement now i will execute this t code in the sap system and i will check what are the fields need to be entered here me q 1 right okay okay and make you m q 1 yes maintain quota arrangement okay sir the shell screen of maintain quota arrangement system has taken the material by default because this is the mater- recently i uh, used in source list so system is creating so sometimes it will be initially blank okay in your practice server you may get like this okay then we need to enter the material plan right sir material you enter the material 
and enter the plant okay for which plant and material you are going to maintain this code okay okay just press enter see here what is asking system system is not giving any error it is a warning symbol right it is a warning okay quota arrangement for material 34 in plant dash active means not a means initially we have not created anything right okay so again we have to give enter enter yes see system okay. will take now valid from it's not asking valid to it is asking just assume this quota how many years up to what validity you are going to maintain i am saying that yeah up to 2030 i will maintain this quota so this is my agreement between the vendor and me so to okay. up to 2030 i should go see okay okay so one more vendor i have right so two vendors i have okay otherwise select this see minimum quantity split it is asking okay what okay. is it minimum quantity for splitting the quota so mm -hmm. to, from 2023 to 2030 approximately how many materials you are procuring and how many quantities you want to split with vendors just an okay. example i took 1 lakh right so i will maintain okay. the same okay just only only example i am considering it is not a standard okay. always it depends upon the business so select the line item once the line item is selected it will turn to orange color then you click on item item click on the item okay once you click on the item so system will create a new pop up window okay sir. see okay. here it is asking pp for procurement type okay so if you explore it with system is showing two options one is f f nothing but external procurement e stand for internal procurement so okay. when you are procuring the material purchasing the material from the vendor vendor is outside your organization right okay uh -huh. so it is external or internal outside means external sir. external okay you select now you can ask one more question sir when you will select internal procurement in the internal procurement nothing but i explained you in the last class as well assume in your company code you have different plants plant 1 plant 2 like that so where this more stock we get yeah, it yes, from yes this. exactly yeah you got my point yeah plant 1 yes, plant 2 so plant 1 has some this material on uh, more than 1 lakh so assume he has yes sir, lakhs. sir. Uh -huh. and plant 2 is a shortage so in that case within the plant within the organization you are going right okay within the organization you are not going outside the organization okay okay sir right sir i am vendor is sitting somewhere here Mm -hmm. vendor is here it is outside the vendor outside your organization yes sir yes sir that should my point what i am going to yeah, sir. so instead of external it is internal only right yeah in that case you select the internal e then system will ask you to enter the plant here okay, you have to answer then you cannot enter vendor because it is internal yes sir understood so when you selected external then vendor will come into the picture okay so time being uh, i am not selecting any uh, internal vendors so always almost all procurement will deal with vendors only specific okay. procurement specific procurements will discuss this in the later just i don't know when you are creating a purchase info record subcontracting consignment mm -hmm. pipeline standard okay you will discuss later over okay. so okay. mentor vendor from which vendor you are going to procure first 100350 350 just vendor you enter so i have not enter the plant because external vendor i have selected f so obviously plant will not come into the picture press enter no suitable purchasing order data available for info record see 388 let it be okay just So now it is asking quota. How much quota we need to give for this vendor? I am giving assume sixty uh, percent. Okay. okay. For example, enter six double zero three double eight. Not suitable purchase organization data available for info record three double eight. 
see i am not created any 3 double eight okay no problem system is giving some error no uh, not error some warning maybe some one more vendor has created with this this combination with this vendor maybe okay no problem press enter okay again sir this yeah procurement type internal or external line sir yes 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 first is a procurement type second one is vendor and uh, percentage how much percentage you are giving for this is 40 percent okay because i have only two vendors 100 percent yeah, 60 40 yes sir. yes see system has taken automatically 60 60 percent 40 40 percent okay sir okay okay and one point you remember here allocated quantity is zero for both the vendors because still i have not created any purchase order okay. not created for this vendor as well as this vendor so allocated quantity is zero okay okay sir. okay so maximum quantity will be how much for, for this vendor if it is 60 percent 60 000, 60, 000. 60 000. so if you enter it here or not enter it here once the purchase order is created system will automatically calculate so not necessary to write here so okay, system will automatically okay. take because 60 percent you have given right obviously one lakh of uh, 60 is 60,000. It will take. Okay. No, okay, sir. I understand. So, what's the base you... quantity? This, this one is very important. Quota base oh, okay. quantity and allocated quantity. I will explain the concept of these two field. Okay, great. I will explain. Not worry. Now, just press enter and save. Okay, quota arrangement maintained. Mentioned successfully. successfully. If you want to view, Again, the same code, MEQ2 or not Q2, because there is no change option here. MEQ1 and for create as well as change. Just press enter. Okay. Press enter. See, quota arrangement is 269. System has created one number. Okay. 269 is a quota arrangement number. So, arrangement for number. so auto automatically it, it, it generates, sir? Yes. When you are creating a material, the system will create one material number, right? Okay. Okay. In the so background, this is, 269, sir. yes, yes, only number is 269. So, okay. these numbers you can maintain in the system that we will tell you later. Once you understand the complete P2P cycle, then we'll okay. go inside the configuration how we need to change. First, we should understand how to operate the mobile. Once yes, you understand, sir, yes. the then I can you can invest your time in understanding what is the features available in that. You can okay. go in detail. Okay. Definitely, okay. definitely, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So, item, see here, everything is same. Nothing changed data. Okay. Here you can see who has created, when it has created, for which plant mm -hmm. it is created, or what is the <coughs> last validity. Okay. When is created like that. Valid from, this is a valid from, valid to, when it is created, today is created. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. okay now uh, assume if you want to add one more vendor here just select f i will check is there any vendor one more vendor is there in our system no we we three we didn't create sir we not created right so yes. because i need to show you one more concept here we'll check okay if it is required we'll come back okay now system is one formula there is one formula given in the sap standard uh, what is that formula here is one minute i will show you with formula only mm. no system is not taking that formula okay okay one minute let me check it here it is not there here also i'll check yes it is there here so in the quota field if you press help button system mm -hmm. is giving one window. so see Quota rating, quota rating. Also is very small, sir. Yes, it is very small. It is very small. So okay, here I will okay, copy sir. this. I will copy this. I will try to take in Excel sheet. Now, can you able to no, see? Quota rating is equal to quota base quantity. Plus yes, quota, quota rating quantity. is equal to quota base quantity. Let me 
this both are in the same field quota rating is equal to quota base quantity plus quota allocated quantity divided by quota percentage okay, okay sir. now if you go to the sap screen now you tell me for the first line item what is the quota base quantity it is zero nothing is there means it is zero right zero okay okay, zero okay. plus quota allocated quantity 60 sir see just you look at the screen and tell me allocated quantity is how much as of now zero because i have not created any purchase order okay okay uh -huh. so allocated quantity is zero okay. divided by how much it is there in the formula cool. quota quota means what percentage. percentage for this one line item total is 100 for this item how much is the quota 60 60 okay just you take 60 divided by 60 0 plus 0 divided by 60 is how much again 0 0 0 means when you create a purchase order or when you create a purchase requisition keep in mind mm -hmm. when you create a purchase requisition whichever the value is less in mm -hmm. that vendor it will select system will okay. select that vendor okay okay, okay. Uh -huh. what's the point what i am going to explain you here yes sir, for yes, example yes, sir. Here in this case, it is zero. Here is also zero. Zero plus zero divided by 60. So it is zero. Okay, For the okay. first vendor, the value of quota rating is zero. Right? Mm -hmm. What is the value okay. quota rating for the second vendor? Zero is... plus zero divided by 40. Again, it 40, is zero. zero. So system will take any one vendor. I will not okay. fix it whether system will create purchase requisition this vendor automatically or this vendor automatically that we need to check okay, okay sir. but in this case in this case system will take any one vendor okay, because sir. value of quota rating is zero for both the vendors okay now okay. for example i will add here 100 and i will add here zero it, it will consider 100 Okay, now you tell me out of these two, which vendor has the least the least quota rating? Second, second, one zero three six nine. So uh, one one zero three six nine because zero plus zero divided by forty is again zero. zero. But here zero plus hundred is hundred divided by sixty. You will get some value. Yes, sir. Understood. So yes, the system will suggest when you are creating a PR, system will suggest the 369 vendor automatically because system will say that you have not procured any material from this 369 because you have given 40% quota, even though you have not created any purchase requisition, you have not procured or purchased material from 369. So system okay. will suggest this number okay sir okay uh -huh. okay so assume uh, if it, if you are getting confused with the 60 40 let us take like this now 50, you are given sir? same importance right 50 percent uh -huh. 50 percent 50 percent okay now sir when sir when we are giving that the quota as 50 50 automatically percentage also it should come to 50 50 now sir 50 50 it will come up because i have not pressed enter right see okay. uh -huh. <laughs> i have not pressed enter <laughs> so now uh quota rating is less for which vendor Second vendor or first vendor? So both are equal. Both are equal. Just to check. Quota rating. Rating, not percentage. Rating. How will you calculate the quota rating? Using this sir, formula. This, that's all, sir. Co base quantity plus allocated divided by uh, quota. But uh, tell me which, uh, which, uh, which vendor has the least quota rating here? Is it both has same? Both, allocated. Both are, both are same, right? No, pa. Allocated plus 100 divided by 50. Then you second, second one will list rating. Ah, then why are you getting confused here? Okay, okay. Because no, actually, I, I was calculating. See, your value is zero here, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, sir. Okay, so okay. Obviously, system will select this vendor. Okay, okay, okay. Now, sir. I will show you one purchase requisition. I will create one purchase requisition. Whether we will check whether system will take this vendor automatically or not i'm not okay. i will not enter any value system okay. should protect this vendor 
got my point yes sir yes sir okay now uh, i will give you some 300 now you tell me which vendor it will take sir then we'll suggest which vendor so actually okay. it will take one one uh, 100 369 please read here just no no actually yes. sir i'm i'm confused with this quota base quantity and co this, uh, this this one so can you see my cursor sir 100 just to calculate quota rating what is a quota rating formula base quantity uh, base, sir, i understand sir base quantity plus allocated quantity uh -huh. Where is the base quantity? Base quantity is so, Yeah. Allocated quantity is zero for both. It's zero. Now you tell me, quota rating is less for which vendor? So for first one, it is less. Yeah, obviously. So system will take first vendor. First one. Okay. That's because uh, the vendor will not, I mean, business will not say you select this vendor, select this vendor, select this vendor. He will give the percentage only. Okay. Oh, they okay. will. It will, will consider the by choosing the percentage. percentage. Yes, initially percentage, but based on this, also you need to check. Here fifty oh, percent. Okay, here fifty percent. If you create a vendor, if you create a purchase requisition for this vendor, again it is vendor one will be in a difficult position, right? He will say that yeah, order should come to me. Why it is you are creating again order for three sixty nine? Already uh -huh. he has got 300 base quantity. Okay, 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 sir. You got my point, what I am going to explain you. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So the formula is important, okay. sir. Form, the, the quarter uh -huh. rating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, okay, whichever sir. the value is less, the system will trigger the purchase requisition for that value. Okay, I understand, I understand, sir. Okay, now I will say. Yes, base quantity plus allocated base quota. Yes, yes. Fine, now, fine. according to you, which one it will select? First one, right? First one, sir, 350. We will check in the system. Which one it to take? So I will save first. Okay. So quota arrangement maintained successfully. I mean successfully. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now I will go to the new uh, concept called purchase requisition. Just uh, just to remember the only the process. Later we will also explain. Slash n m e fifty one n is a T code to create a purchase requisition. Okay, okay, I will take next class. I will explain in detail about the purchase equation, but here only I will I will show you how the system is taking the one double zero three five nine. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. This is this vendor one double zero three five zero. Okay. Not <laughs> okay. Here you enter the material, which is the material uh, we are using. This is the material. Okay. For how many quantities? Just assume 100. Plant is which one? GA? 31. I don't want to enter any storage location. Timing, neglect it. Okay. Now I'm not going any vendor here. See, desired vendor, fixed vendor is there, but I'm not going to give manually. System has to suggest. Me. Yes. yes sir. Purchase organization is how much? GA? 51. 51. Just press enter. Once you press the enter, see enter valuation price it is asking. So assume on 20 rupees. Delivery date is next working day. See system is showing when is the working day, next working day. So delivery date next working day is 11. Okay, you select next working day because tomorrow is holiday. Saturday will be considered as holiday in the SAP holiday. system. Yeah, Sunday is also holiday, right? Uh -huh. yes, and Monday is also holiday in some, maybe in, in this calendar. Monday okay. Will be the holiday. Okay. 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 I sent it. Okay. Delivery date is tomorrow. Otherwise, you can enter Tuesday date as well. System is suggesting that is this job. Is it is it? Okay. Now go to source of supply. Okay. Source okay. of so, supply. Source of supply. What is the meaning? Source of supply. Who are the, going to supply? Okay. Source of supply in the sense what, sir? Vendor only, right? Okay, okay. Uh -huh. See, who are going to source of supply for me? Means when you are doing an engineering, who are going to source of supply for money? Obviously, your parents. Parents. Obviously, see, for procuring this material, who is your source? Source oh, list you have maintained. Where you have maintained vendors. the source list, right? Vendors, vendors, vendors. Vendors, yeah. So that go to vendor and assign. See, I am not giving any 
mandatory i mean entering manually i am just assigning source of supply so system has to check the source list and quote arrangement in the back oh, now it will uh, automatically generate right sir yes yes ऑन इट So slash n m e fifty three n is a display for purchase requisition. I will select this code and enter. See so how much is the quantity as there? Hundred piece. Hundred. So what is the meaning of this hundred? Means you have ordered this hundred mit hundred yeah, pieces. Hundred pieces with this vendor. Okay. Okay. Now, if you go to the quota arrangement for this vendor, three fifty allocated okay. quantity is hundred. Hundred. Okay. Okay, sir. Now we will check that system. Okay. So this is a maintain quota arrangement. Same M E Q one. Enter. Just press enter. Press enter. Select the line item. Go to item tab. Okay. Just refresh. I think we have saved it or not? No, no, we have not saved. Okay, we'll check in the system. Fifty-one. No, no, we'll see. We'll see, see. Select the line item. Go to the header. Okay. See here, allocated quantity is hundred. Hundred it is there, but still purchase order or not created anything, right? So see okay. here. Okay. System automatically it has not increased the value, so base okay. quantity is hundred only. Just take. By default, we have given the same value, right? I will remove it. For the time being, I will remove. I will save. I will come back again. I will check what is happening here. We'll check just. So system has not showed enter. See here. Hmm. I will show you here. Now what I do is, uh, I will give it as four hundred. Just an example. Okay. Okay. I will press enter. Now, which value the system should set as? Suggest which vendor? First One three sixty nine. Three sixty nine. So we will try to create a purchase requisition again, and we will see. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Just you remember, in real case, all values will be automatically it will fetch when you create a purchase. Or requisition and all. No, okay, sir. Okay. Okay. So material I am going to enter, which is the material. First one is the material. So in real time also I have to open this Excel, sir, for. Uh, no, no. For your reference, it is for your reference. Okay. If you are okay, perfect sir. in uh, any other quantities, you can. Okay, sir. Okay. It is left to you. Ta thirty one. Is in. Organization GA fifty one. Okay, press enter. Mm -hmm. Enter quantity. How much you need to order here? I am going mm -hmm. to order fifty. Just an example, fifty. So source of supply. Twenty rupees per piece. Source of supply. I will go to the source of supply. So I will not going vendor number directly. Just I am assigning source of supply. Okay. One zero zero three six two. One double zero three six nine. See, system has taken again three fifty. Just to check what is happening here. Three six nine was less, right, sir? Yeah. Maybe system has taken the percentage. For I think I have not saved. So so so. 
okay so me purchase in for record see system is showing again 350 because have, we have not created any purchase order and all right so it is mm -hmm, mm -hmm. showing see we'll check later also don't worry understood right how but it should use... be 369 right sir as per uh, you think Yes, yes, because purchase order is not created, so order has not considered it is assignment. I mean, account. I mean, what you can say here, allocated quantity is not considered. See, yes, okay, it is okay. zero. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Here, allocated quantity is zero. Otherwise, if you give some uh, fifty, let me check with fifty and all. It will show hundred percent, not a problem. Here, maximum quantity is fifty only. See here, minimum quantity is not taken. Zero it has taken. So that is the reason. This should be some value. One lakh we have given, right? Somewhere. Mm -hmm. okay. See, minimum okay. quantity split, I have not given anything. So it has taken zero. I need to give this value. No problem. If it's sometimes system will allow, sometimes system will not consider that is not any important. See here, it has taken now. Okay, okay. Yes, save it. Put our amendment and successfully go mm -hmm. to the purchase requisition and uh, assign source of supply okay so for this let me take uh, how much quantities now we'll take we'll take on around 500 just an example mm -hmm. okay save it check if any errors are there We'll show you it once again. Don't worry how to create a purchase requisition and all. No, okay, sir. Okay. Created 14284 is created. Created. Okay. We'll go to this. So this purchase requisition number, right, sir? Yes, yes. Purchase requisition hmm. number. Okay. Okay. So this is how you need to create a quota arrangement. Understood now? Okay, sir. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So for time being, what I do is I will remove this, all this. So it is not important. Only for understood the formula I told you. Okay. So what is use of this quota based quantity is assume uh, mm -hmm. before this validity only. This is validity at the started right? 7 4 2023. Mm -hmm. In the month of January 7 1 2023 already you have created some orders with this vendor then that quantity if you add here then it will be base is same so for example uh, quota base quantity is zero zero plus zero divided by 50. so it is zero. okay 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 so the second vendor is also same zero plus zero divided by 50. but assume that in the month of january you have created one purchase order with this 350 a vendor okay at 100 quantity purchase order you need to consider right otherwise it will be a loss for 369 vendor okay uh -huh, uh -huh. just extra 100 will go more than 50 percent it will go okay okay so that at is 100 uh... where will you handle that 100 just down payment just like a down payment where it handed base quantity means i already had taken 100 okay already given 350 100 quantities okay so press enter now you check the quota rating whether it will be remain same or change 100 It'll, okay yeah 100 plus zero okay divided by 50 some value uh Correct. some uh, around it, it remains same uh, sir no uh, it see 100 plus zero divided by 50 that is two will come right like two two yeah yeah so uh, because two is will be two. yeah here zero plus mm -hmm. zero divided by 50 means zero 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 so the system has to select this vendor yes sir that the least one vendor. least one just you remember okay. okay that is the main concept i want to okay sir okay so this is 